little espresso cup in my cupboard, which is exactly five centimeters, which is what I need to make the circle on this side. I drew a center line on it, so hopefully I can get it lined up as close to perfectly as possible. This side, unfortunately, is 50 centimeters, so I don't think there's anything hanging out in my cupboard that's 50 centimeters. So first I need to find the center of this side, and then I can make my own compass, because it was nothing 50 centimeters in diameter. And in my cupboard, as suspected, but no problem. Okay, so now to make the compass, I don't think I've done this since I was a kid. I think I just need to make a loop with some string, and that should work. I think I'm going to get another pair of hands to help. A pair of hands in the house. Jesse's making his first appearance in one of these videos. Can you hold uh, down lower? And though I probably could pull this off by myself, I think it'll save a lot of time having someone else hold that. It's like a form of twister. Thank you for your hands. Say bye! <laughs> bye! Okay, so now obviously there's some erasing to do. Ooh, that's messy. <sighs> this will take a while. I won't bore you with the whole thing. See you in a minute. I now want to remove some of the extra graphite from the canvas. So I'm going to spread around when I start adding the paint and paper time. I think I'm going to have to add some rectified turpentine to, to thin out the paint. But this is a new white, new titanium white I haven't used before. So I'm just seeing how it spreads on its own. Oh, I might not need turpentine. That's really smooth. I don't know if the coverage will be as good, but a very easy application. Okay, time to get down to painting. Normally I would start with the color, which is going to be here and there and here, and I think it's going to be orange. But I'm not sure if this and this are going to be the same color, or contrasting colors, or complementary colors. So I figured I'd start with the white, get something on the canvas, hang it on the wall, and see how I feel after living with it for a week or two. A little dark in here, but the electricity went off about 20 minutes ago. I finished outlining around here, which is going to be against the color, and now I'm filling it in with white. I started using a palette knife because it's nice and quick, and after I'll go over with a brush to get the strokes in the direction that I want. The electricity is back, and I can see significantly better for filling in where I've missed a couple spots with the palette knife applying the white paint. So after I fill those in, then I'm going to go around and get the brush strokes kind of all going in the same direction, more or less. I want to get the brush strokes in a circular pattern, very subtle. So I'm going to try to spiral from the outside into the inside, and I'll probably have to do this a couple times. It's getting a decent amount of built up of paint on the brush, so I might have to, like I just did, not spiral the whole time, but...
stop and remove some of the paint from the brush so I don't have too many lines running through them. Okay, so we've got the circle all spiraled. Now we can paint this side all white. So same as before, palette knife on, then brush. Last stage for today. Smooth and get the brush strokes more or less going in the same direction. Then we'll let this dry for a week or two, and hopefully by then I'll know exactly what should come next.